best choice. I think DSS beats both Falcon and DDD, but it's pretty even with Falco, although it is more touch of death. But you can control neutral better in this matchup. Surprise side B at the very beginning of the match, catching everyone off guard. I'm always caught off guard by everything. I love. On the down smash? Oh, he could have just. Forward smash? Tech, but now oh, he's trying to Jason Waterfalls him. Oh, okay. He just was wants he going to... for footstools? Yeah, no, he was going for, I think, down air and then fall down with back air to send him under the stage. Oh, that makes which sense. Which would have been really cool, but I think he could have just forward smashed it in that stock sooner. Mm -hmm. Yeah, as soon as uh, Falco's below the ledge, like below that little line of re entry, side B's no longer an option and his up B is super short. For sure. Oh, and the forward air. I like forward air uh, when opponents are shielding like that because if you angle it up, if you, uh, it sits at like this upward 45 degree angle that can poke people's heads a lot of the time. Works especially well against like Marth. Shine out of shield into the up air. Oh, off the top. Yeah, misses the down air, says, oh, I can go back up for another try and hits the up air. Really good spacing by him. All right, gets a small combo started, and as odd, I never usually see jab in a combo extender, or like two hits of jab like that. Oh, and the double lasers from ledge. That is not safe, but Shokio was at center stage, so it was a good choice. It's only, oh, in the back air. Yeah. It's only unsafe if they're like their effective range is at the edge. Yeah, because if you like just sit at the ledge, you can actually just grab double laser. Um, you can take the first one and grab grab in between the two hits, or just crouch cancel and like, well, pretty much do whatever. Yeah, some characters can down smash and royally screw them. Yeah, uh, Falco. No, I mean not Falco. Well, I guess Falco too, but CSS could just down smash. And catch him. Down smash actually reaches a lot higher than it looks. Oh yeah, definitely. Most underrated anti-air in the game besides Meta Knight's forward smash. <laughs> oh my gosh. Forward smash um, actually got nerfed between 3.6 beta and 3.6 full because it ended so soon that players had to completely respect the option altogether. They couldn't find yeah, the Yeah, because you could, uh, you could like charge forward smash and then down smash because forward smash had like no end lag, but down smash has like five frames of startup only. Mm -hmm. All right, gets up throws and a nair and forward air. That was a pretty good and third yeah, that'll be not, it. Yeah, not making them back past that. ZSS has such a good ability to carry people off the stage like that. Yeah, he's like Falcon, but with like a better throw against fast fallers. Yeah, so. and their movements are like completely opposites. Like uh, Falcon's good at moving horizontally really quickly, while uh, Zero Suit's really good at controlling the vertical space. Okay, let's not kid anyone though. ZSS is horizontal speed still really good oh yeah fourth it's fastest character in the game really good dash hands uh jason waterfalls has described her as the most mobile character in the game oh yeah. great wave dash a burst movement a vertical burst movement option um good vertical movement speed um dash hands wave dash all that good stuff Ooh, just lasering him out keep shokia from side being from the ledge they both have a gun oh yeah this is a an old western classic just a one duel, shoot. if you will. <laughs> one shoots faster than the other. Oh, gets him on the platform. I think they should just replace both their guns with muskets and have like a three second reload time. Oh my oh. god! Very good. Did you see that down air? That was hype! <laughs> Alright, looks like they're staying characters. I still think the most hype down air combo with Falco is reverse back air down air. Um, it looks the coolest. Mm -hmm. I think, yeah, no, they're definitely going to stay characters. Um, the Roy's not going to come out for sure in this point. Yeah. Shokyo does have a bunch of uh, secondaries. Weird secondaries, like yeah. Olimar and Pit. Oh, yeah. Those and are I, the, his most known secondaries. Those are the ones I will always recommend against. Mm -hmm. um, but little little more known is his Roy, which he hasn't yes. played since, like, 3.02. 3.02, yeah. But, uh... There, he played it a little bit in 3.5 and then just dropped it all together and was like a solo ZSS main. But I think ZSS is a good enough character to solo main. Mm -hmm. Definitely has the tools to win tournaments on Oh, and the B-reverse laser just shines so good. I feel like Birdman, when he like jumps the other way, you should always expect the B-reverse laser because it almost always happens. Like right there, mm -hmm. if you see him uh, jump away, just like dash back. Um, and even you can take the laser from that position and then dash in. The thing about lasers is that they do more shield stun than hit stun. Um, so you should off, oftentimes just take the laser and then dash into punish. And this has a really good dash speed, so you can get away with that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, definitely. It's uh, new players tend to shield a lot because, like, oh, I don't want to take this one percent of damage when it's really also shield grabbing at low levels is so good. Yeah. 
it's such a good big reward because grabs are like the best combo start in this game mm -hmm. um and it's such a big reward Ooh. for just allowing people to mess up shokyo accidentally missing that f smash as falco gets popped just too high all right getting some start from uh, captain Birdman. back air down air Ooh. again um, this is two shines Ooh, yeah. catches the nair. Actually recovers. I, I was uh, really expecting Shokyo to grab ledge there. Oh, Ooh. that was the... That was like a raw knee. That was the rawest forwarder I've ever seen in my life. Mm -hmm. He just chased him down with it. Shokyo usually combos into that move, but that was that was just raw. But now bourbon has got control again. Oh, oh, my God. Double dash attack and a down Yeah, he DI'd in on both of the dash attacks and gets caught by the down air. Not something you want to get hit by. Generally, whenever you get hit by those types of moves, you want to get hit out. And now you know why. All right. Tricky uh, movement there from Shokyo to get back to the stage and uh, completely up takes the stage. The up air. Oh, comes in with the down air. That was pretty risky. Smash. Oh, crosses him up with a packer that doesn't really lead to anything. It was like a very delayed empty hop. Birdman actually sneaks in that back air to knock Shokyo off stage, and now this Here is again. A... Sends him low with the lasers. Oh my gosh. Birdman, you're a sly man. Get the balloon! Get the balloon, you idiot! Yes! Okay. Alright, 2 0 for Birdman. Um, oh, side interesting. Side stalls. The side B to center stage, I thought, should have been punished, but it was so unexpected because Birdman never does it. Yeah, he also just side B'd, like, to the ledge, like, three times to stall and then did it. Although Shogi was in a position where he could have just reacted it, but I felt like... Probably. But Birdman with a big lead right now. Looks like he's going to be taking this 2-0. That would uh, be a little bit of an upset, but not too much. Oh, yeah. I mean, they're both really good players, but uh, Birdman has shown that he can't take... Uh, the really high tier players to uh, at least game three or a win. Yeah, and it could be a 2 0 in his favor even right now. Birdman rolling in every time. Finally gets sent off stage for it. Oh, and just shines the laser. Oh, and a balloon again! Oh. Back air trade. Yeah, you can't trade sweet spot back air. All right, so uh, Shokyo was down three to one, but now he's only got one more stock to go, and it is very, very possible to just completely gimp. Uh, Back here again, that'll be it. Alright. That's pretty good. So, losers 